hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc so i am back with yet another perfume tray video so i'm gonna be giving you guys an update on last week's perfume tray and let you guys know whether or not i stick to my fragrances in my tray and what are the fragrances for this week so if you guys are interested in seeing you know my perfume my last week perfume tray update and my new fragrances for this week then by all means keep on watching if you guys aren't new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for supporting me. I truly appreciate your support. So these are the lovely fragrances that I wear last week. And when I tell you, I thoroughly enjoy every single one of these fragrances. I don't know what it is. I was very excited about this tray, okay? I was very excited about this tray and yeah i literally wore wait a minute oh, i didn't wear you oh i just realized i didn't wear this fragrance i don't know what i was doing i probably was saving it to wear somewhere or maybe i did and i don't remember i don't remember wearing this perfume oh my god i didn't realize that i didn't wear this scent which is kind of weird i just like literally looked at the tray right now it just occurred to me that I did not pull from my Utopia Vanilla Coco 21, which is so weird. I can't believe that I completely disregarded that perfume. All right. So first of all, I told you guys about, about the first combination that I wore at the beginning of the week, which was my Vanilla 28 and um, by True Oud from Carolina Herrera. And this is a punchy, a little bit spicy, oudy smelling fragrance. A lot, a lot of oud in here. So and my vanilla 28 because again i wanted some sweetness so i already wore this i wore this one i told you guys about it um you know when i was doing this tray and then next up i brought up my al haramein amber oud and this is a nice fruity punchy sweet smelling fragrance you guys yes i, I brought out a bit about i brought out fruity fragrances this week but fruity fragrances that's a little bit more on the heavier side and this has a beautiful note of pineapple in it and you guys i got me some compliments wearing this fragrance like again i haven't worn this perfume in ages and i thoroughly enjoyed wearing this scent it performed like crazy it wore very well and again it brought me some compliments this week you guys i love 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 to be honest again this tray this week was so 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 nice this perfume right here again it's a beautiful plum spicy plum and floral um musky scent this was an absolute joy to wear this week i haven't worn it in a very long time and it was so 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 nice Ooh, which one would i say was a superstar so my i wore my rose prick i had a presentation this week so i wore this one for that i think it's a nice fragrance that you can wear like um if you're getting dressed up and it's a bit formal i wore this fragrance to a very um a somewhat of a strange occasion this week um yeah if i can say so not exactly the ideal fragrance to wear to the occasion that i wore it to but i, I definitely enjoy wearing it nonetheless because again i don't pull from my bitter peach much because of the price tag but i'm happy to say to you guys my biggest superstar of the week was this combination right here i think that's what it was i actually wore this twice maybe that's why i forgot about my utopia um coco vanilla 21 because i wore my sandal ruby by carolina herrera and my blush i wore this to an eye test and i got compliments i went to the i did the eye test and i got compliments leaving the house i got compliments at the um at the eye specialist i got compliments even after that because it went somewhere else as well and the compliments were just coming in you guys this is a magical combination this is like the best combination i have ever put together because it just smells so good obviously the carolina Herrera blush is new to my collection and it features the top notes of bergamot and mandarin it's a musky um very eerie scent a bit lighter than the carolina hair very good girl and doesn't have in that very tart and fruity top note but it's a very beautiful refreshing and citrusy scent and then the sandal ruby is a sandalwood a spicy sandalwoody um a little bit creamy powdery smelling fragrance that is to absolutely die for you guys so this tray this week was just our love this like was a very very exciting tray so i thoroughly enjoyed wearing all of them that i actually managed to wear 
but I forgot about my vanilla cocoa 21 and I think I'm gonna leave it for this next week so I'm gonna resolve this one for this week and add it to the selections that I have here to the side so I'm gonna quickly clear this tray and bring out my rest selections for you guys all right so let's just dive into this week's perfume tray so first of all let me just highlight that so far I'm filming this video on Wednesday unfortunately it should have been filmed earlier but um, I do have my fragrances set aside. First fragrance that I have laid out for this week is Maher by Latafa. Now, I have actually already worn this fragrance. I wore it on Monday, I believe. Now, I told you guys last week, it's dreadfully cold. And I really wish I could come to you and say to you that now that it's officially spring, that it has warmed up a little bit, but it has not. So I literally laid out another week of bangers and heavy hitters for this week. I'm taking advantage of it because some of these scents, even though I've been wearing a lot of my scents over the winter, some of them I have not touched. And I think I wore this one. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember, but... I'm pulling it out anyways. It's a bit on the stronger side. This is a spicy, a little bit fruity, a little bit fresh on in, in the in the mid. Woody, a little bit smoky, oody smelling fragrance. There is a hint of sweetness. Hence, hence, I think there is a fruity note in here. There's definitely a fruity note in there somewhere. But there, there, there is definitely some spices. And again, in the heart, there is a bit of a freshness. And you got some smoky, woody, oody tones in the base. This is a banger. It's a true Middle Eastern fragrance. When you wear it, it wears like a Middle Eastern scent. You get that oud and the spices and a hint of sweetness from it and a slight bit of the smokiness coming from it. It, it lasts long. It projects quite decent. It's a really nice fragrance. Um, obviously, this is a fragrance from La Tafa. A lot of people don't really talk about this perfume, but it's most definitely a banger. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get through this massive bottle of perfume. But yeah, it's a fragrance that I would definitely resolve to colder weather. But it's an absolute pleasure to wear as always. So this is my Mehed from La Tafa that I borrowed this week. The next fragrance that I laid out on this week's tray is... Kylie's Elixir 11 and I paired it with Mistyo absolutely blooming you guys so the my Kylie Elixir is your your rose petals red apples and patchouli smelling fragrance a nice sweet rose petal dominant fragrance with the essence of apples and um, I would say patchouli stands out a lot in this fragrance there's a few other notes in this perfume beautiful fragrance from Kylie and my absolutely blooming is a tangy, a little bit fruity, citrusy, musky fragrance. Beautiful. It's an airy scent. A slight hint of tanginess from the fruity elements in this fragrance. And in the heart, it has a beautiful rose scent. As you guys know, Francois likes playing with that beautiful note of rose in his fragrances. I pulled out my Kylie Elixir and I sprayed myself down with it. I wore it yesterday and I was like, you know what? This would just go so beautifully with Miss Dior to just add a bit more, you know, punchiness to it. And of course, both of them, you know, plays on that beautiful note of rose, okay? And I was like, you know what? I think this would just make a beautiful combination. I will say to you that my Absolutely Blooming, it kind of like, it overtake the Kylie Elixir a little bit because it's extra punchy, it's a little bit more sharper and a little bit more citrusy from the fruity elements in the Absolutely Blooming. It's a beautiful fragrance, a beautiful combination in my opinion. And I literally take when I spray the Miss Dior, I literally taste it for you know throughout the day. And again, the Kylie Alexa it was in the background, but the combination was so goddamn nice. And I definitely got compliments with this combination for sure, you guys. By the way, my partner absolutely loves absolutely blooming. He says that this fragrance smells like a potion. So yeah, maybe that's why he got me some compliments. <laughs> But yeah, these two layered together are absolute bangers, you guys. Now, today I also brought out, I brought out my Supremacy by Afnan and my BDK Nuit de Sable. I was actually talking to my friend Claire here on YouTube and she was telling me that about, you know, Supremacy. Mm. She mentioned um, one of them that she didn't like. But I did recommend, you know, the Supremacy Afnan to her. And I was like, you know what? Let me just pull this fragrance out because I don't really play with it much. Now, this perfume, it is a powdery, cotton candy, peachy, sweet, 
Udi, I think there, there has to be some vanilla in there. Udi powdery vanilla smelling fragrance, okay? There's a very sweet element in there also, but it has like a cotton candy powdery peachy essence and mixed with oud it's very warm very sweet and very strong and then this one here so is a spicy woody smelling fragrance i think it has in some nutmeg in here so a very nice spicy woody fragrance from bdk that i absolutely love you guys and this morning i pulled them out and i was like let me just layer these together because this one is really sweet and I think that's why I kind of stay away from it because it just is predominantly sweet and it has in the oud. But this fragrance has a blend quite similar to oud satin mood from MFK. You know that jammy sweetness mixing with the oud. The blend is more or less the same. It's quite similar but this one plays on that beautiful note of peach and you get more of a cotton candy vibe as opposed to a jammy rose scent. Nice fragrance, beautiful, strong, projecting fragrance. And I coupled it with this one. And let me tell you something. This two here together, these are screamers. These are loud. They're in your face. I, I sprayed it on my wrist, my right wrist. And it was like overtaking like the whole of me. It was as if I sprayed this combination all over me, you guys. These two fragrances, this combination, this little combo right here. This is a screamer. It's a very like high projecting combination that is absolutely scrum shots now a lot of people don't ever talk about supremacy by afnan and of course people don't talk about nuit de sable either so i presume if you guys do get your hands on these two fragrances you probably smell quite unique as for myself i smelled really nice and loud and sweet and spicy and woody today because this combination is an absolute banger you guys next up i decided to bring out my vanilla royale sugared patchouli i have played with this a little bit you guys a little bit but i feel like i want to play with it some more especially before we come to the end of you know this winter season um i would say to you guys i would definitely pull for this fragrance during the summer because like in england it's cold unless it gets really hot i'm gonna wear this baby and you guys know this is your uh i would say it's a it's a patchouli dominant um sugary sweet vanilla smelling fragrance it has it of course your rum so you get a little bit of booziness but overall i get a lot of patchouli your vanilla your sugary sweetness in here mixed with a slight boozy element i think it's sexy i love it i just like the vibe at this point i really love kylie fragrances they are different i don't feel particularly disappointed by any of the releases i know this one is very controversial as all of kylie's fragrances but i really love this scent okay and appreciate it for exactly what it is so i just want a little bit more time to play with it so i put it on my tray this week now i will say to you guys last night i pulled out my ange d'un and mediterranean and i know this fragrance is gonna like stand out like a unicorn amongst these other scents because this is a citrusy eerie it smells like pretty much it's inspired by the mediterranean it smells like the mediterranean it smells like you're on the ocean and just imagine smelling the sea breeze but not a salty sea breeze a sea breeze mixed with an earthiness somewhat of a dry earthy a little bit green essence to it it's not a very sweet fragrance it just smells like um the ocean after it rains mixing with the earthiness and you know a bit of greenness from the butchers trees surrounding that's the vibe that i get from this fragrance last night i took a shower with a bath wash that was so beautiful you guys let me just let's get that bath wash for you guys i just had to quickly go and get grab my shower gel for you guys so last night while i was having a shower i just you know i bathe in this water mint shower gel which has in water mint and a cucumber scent it smelled very minty and earthy and fresh and invigorating it smelled a little bit um ozonic in my opinion it just smells so beautiful and i was like you know what i want to wear my angerdain and mediterranean fragrance after i come out of the shower and I just like, it was just a moment. It was just a vibe. Like these fragrances, the Angerdain range from MS, they're so relaxing. They create a mood. The whole vibe of these fragrances is, is to evoke a feeling that you are in the Mediterranean Sea or around the Mediterranean Sea or on the Mediterranean Sea. You capture the vibe, the smell of the breeze, the earthiness, the greenness from the trees. 
and to me they've done a really good job with it and i am forever in love with this fragrance but yeah i just had to you know like douse myself with it fresh out of the shower this was not a part of my lineup but i threw it in because of the mood i was in and that's pretty much you know what i like about these perfume trays it just captures the mood that i'm in every week so yeah i pulled out my anjadan and mediterranean last night and basked in this beautiful invigorating scent you guys so that's that one next up so far i have not worn my labelle in a minute i wore it a while back but i pulled it out today and i was like you know what i want to not today when i put together this um perfume tray i was like i want to wear my labelle um i know after winter i'm not gonna pull for my labelle like that maybe on a date night or a night out or something like that i'm gonna pull up pull for her but I just i want to doubt i just want to like pull out my heavy hitter fragrances because in the spring and summer you're gonna go for like light fresh fragrances and you just might get a compliment you might not but right now i want people to smell me and i like to bring out those bangers i like getting compliments on my fragrances i'm not gonna lie you guys <laughs> I'm, i love getting compliments i love basking in my scent especially those fragrances that i think have a really like strong projection so my labelle i want to pull her out you know one more time just before you know spring comes in but i would definitely still wear her like in the spring and summer nights in my opinion so that's my label and next up i brought up my white patchouli which is a predominantly spicy patchouli smelling fragrance okay i brought this out the other day and i think um last week i had rose prick on my tray and i sprayed this I, I, wore, I wore this with rose prick and i was like this is another fragrance that i very rarely reach for but it's a beautiful scent and i think it's definitely fitting for this time of the year like right now transitioning from spring well we are in spring but the weather hasn't reached in spring as yet so right now this time of the year this is a beautiful fragrance i would definitely wear this in spring as well but more like in the spring nights like in the daytime if it gets really hot well obviously it's not hot it's not gonna get hot so again i'll wear this day and night but I do, I do think that it's a nice fragrance to wear, like, you know, when it's hot as well, but in the nighttime in particular, you know, that kind of way. So white patchouli is coming out on this week's tray. And I decided to keep my Utopia Vanilla Coco 21 because I actually forgot to wear it last week, which is heartbreaking because I really love this scent. And I pulled it out because I wanted something warm. It was really cold and I just wanted to, I wanted something nice and warm and creamy and coconutty so i'm really happy that i brought this one out but this week i'm gonna actually wear it so i probably think i'll put it out tomorrow but yeah this then brings me to the end of my perfume tray video these are the scents that i'm going to be wearing for this week some of them i have already worn because again this video is being filmed on wednesday i do aim to give you guys this video on a monday but unfortunately it doesn't always work out that way but nonetheless you guys whoo these babies right here i'm getting like more and more and more excited about these perfume trays because like i feel like every time i wear my fragrances i fall back in love with them you guys so yeah this is this week's perfume tray i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if in fact you did please do give me a very big thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me i truly appreciate your support until next time see you guys in my very next video bye